Hi, Crosswinds. This is Josh Mitchell. I have a couple of notes to share, but the thing that God has been putting on my heart to pray about for the next hour is friendship. And I think we all know that this past year with the pandemic and the stay at home order and just, you know, being told that it's unsafe to be out and to gather that some of our friendships have probably gone more digital and social media and maybe talk and text, but not in person. And, you know, uh, that can be a little bit damaging because really having friends and being together and gathering is really what the nature of friendship is, being able to do things for each other and just have that proximity with each other. So uh, there's a couple of scriptures that I wanna share that talk about friendship. First, the first one is about how Jesus says that he is a friend of ours. Uh, Proverbs 18:24. Solomon talking to his son says, a man who has friends must himself be friendly, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a, a brother. And Abraham had this type of relationship with God. And in James 2:23, it says that Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness. And he was called the friend of God. And so that's where it comes first, our friendship with God. The second thing that I wanted to share was just a couple of scriptures also from Solomon about friendship. Proverbs 27, 17 says, as iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of a friend. Ecclesiastes 4, 9 says, two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, one will lift up his companion, but woe to him who is alone when he falls, for he has no one to help him up. And this is my last verse. This is my favorite. Proverbs 17:17. 17, 17, a friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you give us friends, the ones that we have now. Lord, we just want to pray for them and that you would draw us closer to them, that we would be more instrumental in their lives and that, Lord, we would we would just have a really tight friendship even through uh, the rest of this pandemic this year and whatever happens in our future. Uh, and God, it, we just pray also for new friends. We need new friends because they can bring freshness into our life. Uh, we thank you that we have friendship with you, Lord, that, you know, you are the greatest friend that we could have, Lord. You're constantly there for us. You model friendship and we can study your word and determine who you are from the scriptures and understand what it truly means to be a friend. Oh, Lord, we, I just want to pray against loneliness and sadness and depression, anything that people are feeling because the lack of friendship that they may have. And I just pray, Lord, that you would bring in a brother or a sister into their lives so that they can experience the value of friendship uh, and that it would be a relationship that grows and that trust can be formed through it. And we thank you, Lord, that uh, this is a human thing to seek out friends and just to need that interaction and that connection. We pray that in the future, Crosswinds would be a great place for people to get new friends and to go join together in small groups and other efforts and really discover uh, how much friendship can be a good thing in your life. In Jesus' name, amen.